subscribe and welcome to my youtube channel welcome to lady j julie tv channel today i'm going to show you how to prepare a goosey soup remember in my previous video i showed you how to prepare a goosey soup with in the process of blending it with water blender but today i'm going to show you how to prepare it in another way by blending it with the dry blender so first of all we start by and first this is my grounded onion so we we'll start by adding our ingredients, the, my blended pepper, blended crayfish, and the seasoning cube to it. And we mix it together. You add a little salt, and remember when you are adding your salt, remember that you had you are going to add some salt inside the meat. Then you mix it together. After mixing it, then you add your blended melon, also known as ibusi, to it. And you mix together. Once you finish mixing it, so the next process is to put your meat on the fire, add your salt, thyme, curry, a little garlic, seasoning cube, sliced onion, mix together. After mixing all the ingredients, then you cover it and allow it to cook for some minutes. <coughs> Welcome back guys. So now that your meat is already steamed, then you have your, your washed stock fish to eat. And your fish. Add water so that your meat can get cooked very well and then you cover it so welcome back guys after some minutes of putting the meat on the fire and the meat is already cooked to my satisfaction so I'm about to drop it from the fire so the next step is to put the pot on the fire and add oil to your to the pot so guys I've already added the oil and on the fire so what the next step now is to start putting your mist egusi. Start putting it this way and cut it. So after you must have finished putting the egusi little by little inside the hoyer. Then you have to cover it for some minutes and come back to check. Guys, I'm back. So you have to turn it a little by little. And when you are doing it, make sure the temperature of the fire you are using is very low so that your goosey will not be burning underneath the pot. So I have finished mixing it on the fire. You have to mix it every second or every minute to avoid the goosey being burning under the pot. So after mixing it like this, remember we have already mixed it with our ingredients in the earlier stage. So your next step is to add your cooked um, meat, your cooked meat to it, transfer it into the egusi. Mix it together. So 
So after mixing it, you have to cover it for like one minute and come back to check how far it has been cooked to your taste. So guys, I'm back after one minute. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix it together. So I finished mixing it. So I'm going to have a little stock from the mix which I boiled earlier. And I'll mix it together again. After mixing it, then you add your vegetable. You can use any vegetable you want. For me now, I'm using my spinach vegetable. And then you mix it together. After mixing it, you cover it and allow it to boil for some minutes. Welcome back guys. After some minutes of leaving my goosey on the fire, this is the outcome of it. You can see how beautiful it is. Oh my yummy goosey. Oh, so sweet and looking good. So, thanks for watching and God bless you. If this is your first time of watching my video and you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, please don't forget to click on that notification button so that whenever I post a new video, you'll be among the first person or first people to receive notification. Thank you for watching my video today. God bless you. And also, thanks to those of you that are already subscribed to my YouTube channel. Thank you to all everyone of you out there. May God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. I'll see you on my next video. Bye.